Updated March 31, 2018 15 hours 42 minutes and 10 seconds Rugby League Immortal Andrew Johns has continued his scathing attack on the game's officiating urging the head of the NRL to hang your head following another night of refereeing controversies. A combined 54 penalties were blown across both Friday night matches between South Sydney Canterbury and Cronulla Melbourne, prompting Johns to hit out at NRL boss Todd Greenberg. Melbourne Storm captain Cameron Smith was sin-binned for dissent and Cronulla's Luke Lewis sent from the field for a professional foul during the same game, which saw 33 penalties alone. It came after 21 penalties were blown in the North Queensland Penrith game on Thursday night in Townsville, with Panthers prop James Tamasin bin for continuing his side's repeated infringements, Good Friday pumped to work on Dogs v South's game. The game destroyed by penalties. Left the game so disappointed, John said on social media on Friday night, rushed home to watch Storm v Sharks purely as a fan. Shattered watching the game, don't blame the referees I feel for them. Pressure from above. Whoever it is at the top of NRL hang your head. The game belongs not to you or the players, it belongs to the fans who pay to watch. Waiting for your response Todd, John's comments comes less than a week after also claiming the dramatic rise in penalties was destroying the product and making the game increasingly frustrating to watch. Fox Sports statistics reveal that prior to the start of Round 4, the 17.82 penalties per game is almost four more than over the opening three rounds of the competition last year. It is the most in that period, since an average 18.14 penalties were blown prior to Round 4 in 2004, blame me, not the refs, Todd Greenberg says Greenberg told Triple M last week fans shouldn't blame referees for the number of penalties, as they were simply following his direction, we've been very strong over the off-season of making sure of two things, that the play the ball was cleaned up and they've done exactly what I've asked and to make sure the players are staying back on side and they're doing exactly what I've asked, the referees are doing exactly what they've been asked to do and the real challenge for the referees is to continue to do this for the entire year. I've asked the referees to make sure that it doesn't just happen in round one and two and three, that it happens all year because ultimately it will make sure that the fans have a much greater game to watch. Affecting the spectacle of the game South Sydney coach Anthony Seibold said the crackdown was having an impact on the spectacle of the game, but praised the officials for sticking to their instructions in their win over Canterbury. He also claimed the Bulldogs were guilty for most of their 14 penalties conceded, it is certainly affecting the spectacle of the game but I thought the Bulldogs came here to make it a real scrap today, he said, if you have a look at the amount of times of second efforts in tackles. One thing I thought the referees did do was they kept penalising them, I suppose that was a gutsy move by them because I thought it was warranted. It didn't make for a great spectacle, there's no doubt about that, ref wasn't to blame for Dog's loss, Josh Jackson says Canterbury captain Josh Jackson refused to blame their loss to South Sydney on another refereeing blunder, saying they had an ample opportunity to claim victory. Referee Ben Cummins was forced to apologise to Jackson after awarding Greg Inglis a try despite the Bulldogs skipper moving back into position following a conversation with the referee. Jackson was called out by Cummins midway through the first half after repeated penalties close to the line, but was still racing back when play resumed and the Rabbitohs pressed immediately. I'm sorry Josh, I didn't realize, Cummins was heard telling Jackson after the try. Bulldogs coach Dean Pay was livid with the decision, which cost his side six points in a game they were in control for the majority of before eventually going down by four. However, Jackson insisted the call was not the sole factor in the defeat, and instead called out his team for lacking better game management. He blew the try. Then I went over to talk to him and I think it was after that that he realized what had happened. I was playing out in the centers and that's exactly where they went, Jackson said. It was about the penalties in the ruck, I think there'd been a number in a row on the tree line, and he basically just wanted me to get the team to fix that up, but I just want to say that I don't blame them at all for the loss. We had plenty of opportunities to win that game. We turned over a hell of a lot of ball in the last 10 to 15 minutes on our own tree line. Pay was also upset with the 14 to 10 penalty count, but admitted his men should have prevented the Rabbitohs from scoring twice in the final five minutes to steal the win. Yeah, we need to be better as a team, there's no doubt about that. We had our opportunities to win that game, he said, with everything that went against us. We turned over too much ball and we should have finished that game off and got the two points but we didn't. Wayne Bennett urges NRL not to blink Brisbane coach Wayne Bennett urged the NRL not to blink as it tries to erase the bad habits that have crept into the game over the last three years. 
Bennett has backed the clamp down and said if his players break the rules against Gold Coast on Sunday they deserve to cop the consequences. Cronulla coach Shane Flanagan said he was not going to complain about the number of penalties, but would continue to work with the NRL and referees, penalty after penalty. You can't blame the referees, they're doing what they're told to do. Someone needs to